All right, today we have an Optima drill grinder for you. This is really nice condition, uh, all original paint. Uh, we've got some nice tooling to go with it. And um, what it is, is it grinds your drill for you. And at the same time, you can thin uh, or split the web uh, in one operation and actually uh, check it optically uh, and inspect it against a grid chart all in one operation without taking the drill out of the chuck. Uh, so how do they do that? Um, well, like I said, it's made in Switzerland. So you, you have here uh, your drill holder and you have here your grinding wheel and up here you have a little uh, visual uh, screen you can look into and then over here you have another uh, grinding wheel mounted on a um, uh, on a swivel arm there that's driven by a flex cable off the main motor to do another operation so over here um, if you're coming in here with the camera uh, you have your drill and you can grind this angle on your drill here and then you step on your foot switch here and you bring the drill up to the next position and you actually can see this drill now inside this screen. I mean, I can see it. I don't know if you can see it in where you are, but you check this drill here, the angles on it and the edges on it against the chart in there. There's also a um, hood that goes on here that makes it a little bit easier for you to see when you're working at it and then um, once you find out that that's all right then you can go back and do the other the other half of the drill the other side of the drill um, this is all adjustable these angles here uh, so you have to know what angles you want to have and this plane is the exact same plane where you uh, this is actually a dressing diamond here that comes down over the wheel uh, so all these things have to be uh, set up so that everything is in the same plane. You don't want to scratch this lens. And then when you bring this all the way over to here, you get to use this tool here. And I don't know how to use this tool, but um, I'm presuming somebody who buys this will learn. So let's turn it on. And over here we would uh, pretend to grind our wheel, or do our, our drill and our little radius thing here, you know what you try to do when you do these by hand on, on your bench grinder, try to get that back rake or whatever you want to call it. Well this does it for you and you come in here and you look in the thing here and figure out what you just did, see if it was okay, see how everything is coming together and then when you bring it over here it activates this little baby grinding wheel and you thin the web or split the point or uh, again my terminology could be off and then they have even a little magnifying glass you can swing over here and look at it. So as soon as you come away from that position, this will shut off. And then you can, uh, this will come out of here, loosen this thing here, and this whole thing slides out. This is actually a drill chuck. When you loosen up the back of it, uh, your drill comes out. We have some other ones on the table here. This carries a certain range, and you have these little collets that go inside of here to make up all your different sizes. And we have these collets here that I'm not exactly sure where they go, but um, we tend to get a lot of things mixed up sometimes. But these, you got two whole boxes of different size collets that go inside of these things. This is the larger size uh, for the larger diameters, and this is for the smaller diameters, and this is uh, for. Oh, actually, this is a chuck. This opens and closes. This is like, like a Jacob's chuck. And that's the small one. That's the larger uh, chuck. It's called a chuck tool holder. And then you have this one uh, that comes apart, has a bar in there. And you have your different collets that you drop inside. There's a taper here that lines up with the other taper on the other side of the collet. You put that in. Each one is made for a specific letter drill, number drill, or <clears throat> fractional drill. And then it goes in this holder, which in its own way is another little kind of a collet closer on the end there that, that grabs a hold of this tool. So that's all you need to really know about it. Uh, there's a company out in Butler, Pennsylvania called uh, Johnson's 
uh, tooling. Uh, they're very helpful with these machines. They have all the parts for them and service. Um, so give them a call. Uh, we appreciate you watching our video. Thank you very much.